So yeah, uh, let's start with the company introduction. Uh, we are Vloadin. Uh, we are based out of Chennai. We started this company in 2015, and I am the co-founder and managing director. I started this company with my college friend Dilip Arjun, who is the studio head. And uh, it was like about eight years, like we we started this studio. And uh, about our journey. Uh, we were making premium mobile games uh, from the year 2015 to 2018 that's the idea like how the vloading uh, started we wanted to make a premium indie game so we were into indie indie games like we were like two developers making games from home through skype and afterwards like from 2018 to 2020 like we were into external game development we were making uh, multiplayer games for super gaming and the hammer play and after a while like we got really, really bored on servicing part for a while so we thought of okay let's uh, catch up on the ip sector again and uh, let's focus on hyper casual because that was a trend in 2020 so we decided to focus on hyper casual we start during the lockdown phase i guess uh, we went into hyper casual fully we started making prototypes uh, worked with the multiple publishers all the top publishers and we were working continuously we were like made like 10 to 15 prototypes and it all failed and finally by the end of 2020 we launched a game called rubber band cutting which was the first hit of the studio and it was released by crazy labs and 5 months back we have a second biggest hit uh, desert diy uh, that was also published by crazy labs so before we get this uh, hit games we were we studied the process of hyper casual through the failed prototypes so those failed prototypes really helped us to get these hit games so let's see about our failed games that uh, that we did some case study on like how we should not approach hyper casual so this is the first uh, prototype that we tested it named as doodle drop so the objective of this game is you drop your doodle monster uh, from one platform to another by tapping and you reach the goal at the end so this is a simple gameplay of this game and it's a 2d top down runner game so the mistakes that we did with this game is as you can see it's a 2d art style so hyper casual trend has changed from 2d to 3d during that time uh if you are making a 2d hyper casual only make it uh, if it's a puzzle based game or a narrative based game or else like go for the trend like what's happening in the hyper casual market use the art style that's uh, been in trend and not to use anything you know creativity because like we came from a premium mobile gaming platform like where it all make you know artistic way of uh, making 2d and all the arts are like that but like we we try to understand why that's happening uh, and also uh, the creating the fancy characters as i would say you if you see a hyper casual there won't be any multiple characters you no know, freaky characters i would say and there would be no power ups because these two elements are like more into casual games right and not and it would it did like come out of hyper casual because hyper casual audience are generally non gamers who you make them to play games you are bringing them to play uh, game or game so like they don't understand the concept of power ups and stuff so it is little you know uh, something new for them when they see that so that's the thing so another two things is there's no innovation in this game and there is no depth uh, it's just the you know a reverse process of doodle jump and, uh, and the depth i would say i will give a clear explanation of what the depth is in the next slide but this same uh, objective and the goal like was recreated and it was a hit game but it was approached in a different way and the perfect execution of this game is helix jump this was a huge hit in hyper casual genre and it was released by udu games as you see uh, the game is having a simple hyper casual art style uh, where you have like the simple spear and normal shapes that would represent uh, hyper casual uh, this is the phase like where it uh, you know the 2d hyper casual got into fade, fade out or faded out and like you know that 3d hyper casual got into trend and yeah that's it like, it's a trend game and like so always like you know the things that you learn from this game is like you know have a hyper casual art style all the time and the trend check the trend what's going on at the current trend it, this, this trend is uh, like you know 2020 beginning i would say 
but now the trend has changed but still you need to adapt to the the things that's going on hyper casual even if it's scaled out from where it was started like you need to get adapted to the situation and yeah the non gamer audience so you make someone who's new to game you make them play the game and you'll your your journey of hyper casual you the this audience your journey is like you know they you, you are making them play the game and you are making them into a pro gamers in future so you are bringing that way so even if you have a difficult game try to lower it down you know scale it down and make it more simple so that like these people will really like the game and the depth is the multiple way of completion uh, if you see the helix jump you can either jump from one platform to another or you can skip multiple platforms and you jump and uh, one interesting thing is uh, they have a power up implemented inside the gameplay not keeping it outside the gameplay so if you pass through like five obstacles like you will have a fire booster and you dash through the obstacles and you reach the goal this is something uh, they play without any putting any effort so this is the success of helix jump and yeah the innovation part of this game instead of the you know controlling the character usually when a game is like you control the characters every time in this it was a reverse thing like they control the platform instead of the characters there's a slight innovation but it's really effectful so yeah this is the game and the next game is domino fall domino rush and uh, this is the game that we tested with udu for the first time uh, your objective is to keep the domino fall happening uh there will be some obstacles in between and you need to wait for the obstacle to align it with the domino fall and you resume the you know you need to make the domino fall happening so you can like hold to stop the domino fall and you re you release the uh, control like it the re it, the domino fall resumes so the mistake is the the control side say this is the mistake that we did because since we are holding it uh holding the holding the mobile like you know to pass the domino fall it made the game a little slow paced you know you were like holding and like you can't move your hand anywhere you just have to wait till it get unlined and like you need to release so this make the game a very slow paced and the the main part of uh, domino fall is uh, the, the 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 quickness that the without any distraction it falls so that makes the game more interesting and satisfying so with that bad control it affected everything and this didn't work out for us and the perfect execution of this game is domino smash uh, as you can see it has an engaging gameplay and engaging controls it's just the mechanism of a snooker ball where you hit the domino and make the domino fall and also you can see uh, you can see the whole entire domino falls at a time it gives you a very satisfactory feel so this is the success of domino smash and this game was really actually there were two games domino smash and domino roll one was released by gizmod and another one was released by lion studios so the next game is limbo run this is the second game that we tested with crazy labs it was it was a runner uh, uh, you like you have to bend through the obstacle and run uh, there will be some ai running behind you uh, towards you i mean like with along you and you have to be quick and win the race so it's a runner like you hold to bend the down bend down the character and you re you release like you uh you know it bends up so you need to pass through the obstacle and reach the goal so that's the objective of this game and the mistakes that we did with this game is the bad camera angle because uh, we couldn't really find out like what camera angle would suit this uh, gameplay we tried setting up the camp, uh, ca usual camera angle for the runner but uh, we couldn't see like how it passed through the obstacle we couldn't able to do that so we we have no option like we had this uh, camera angle at the side and like it was perfect for this gameplay but still it's the problem is like you can't see like where you're heading towards and what's your next obstacle is you, you have you see like you have only minute a time frame of gap uh, to see the obstacle and you have to react it quick this make the game very difficult to play and like many people failed at the first attempt itself and also there is like disturbing backgrounds at the back you see like many coconut trees some some things that keep on distracting your gameplay so the main thing about hyper casual is you need to keep your background very clean and very minimal so that your gameplay puts in front 
uh, and make the player to concentrate only on the gameplay part without any distractions. So that's the main thing. And there is no proper reward system. Like even though they are bending through the obstacles with the, you know, like very, very, they, they find very tough to play this game. But like we are not rewarding enough uh, and like it really kills the mood of the game. The perfect execution of this game is Flex Run. It is also the same objective where you bend through the obstacles and you get passed. But like it has a very interesting control of swerve mechanic. Uh, and also if you see, uh, it has a perfect camera angle for a runner and it has a very clean and neat background. And the difficulty curve is also very low. As you see, like you don't need to perfectly fit through the thing. And even you, though you made a mistake, like the game wouldn't fail much until or unless you hit the object and you fall. So, and also the, the rewards, like even though you pass through one obstacle, they will give you the satisfying feel of rewarding yourself. You know, you're doing perfect. These are the things that is very important for the hyper casual games. Uh, and, uh, and also the games is, since you keep the difficulty curve very low in your hyper casual game, the players progress faster. Uh, this method is used uh, because like if you see any runner games or any games that has levels like the first five levels will be very easy whatever mistakes you do you will be winning so this winning feel is what uh, they be induced into the minds of the player and it's the real success part of hyper casual and the next game is dance off this is the first game that we tested with crazy labs uh, it's an interesting thing like uh, we need to make a sequence of dance steps by you know moving the body parts to a certain position and perform a dance move at the end uh, and it, like uh, I'll say what is the mistakes that we did with this game we spent too much time on this game uh, to make this mechanics work uh, in this game like if you see like if you move your hand up like you know the, the palm will also get closed so it will be connected with two animations like and we will be lerping it from one point to another uh, you can move whatever the limbs you want so i sat with my animator and rigger and we discussed like how we can achieve it and it took like one month for us to make this game out uh, to make this mechanic work and once we tested it like we find like okay this we had this change this mind this is the part like where everyone faces first you'll test a game and then, then you think like, okay, we are not going in the right direction. We'll change, we'll change the concept, we'll change the mechanic. This is what we did here. We tried to fix the concept and it went somewhere and all the KPIs increased. So uh, whenever you, if you have an idea, if you, you think it's a good idea, even though it's, less, it's like, you know, shows a promising KPI close to what you want, reiterate the process instead of just uh, changing the whole thing together. Reiterated. If there is a point that you need to change the thing, change the whole mechanic if you feel, the game is not going to work out, so you have to kill the game and move on. And also the goal is not very clear. I don't know whether you can see that there are dotted lines of sill out for, like, for the next move to you to have to make. Uh, that was not so clear, but uh, at that time like we don't know how to show the proper goal of what you have to do and how to represent that one. And the perfect execution is couples yoga. This is also released by Voodoo. As you see, you have a clear goal there, what pose you need to make. And you make the pose and you need to balance the character. So the physics part of the game is really successful here. Uh, we tried to, uh, and the yoga, uh, yoga is always trending in social medias. Uh, so uh, it's also a trend and uh, we used to, and also like you know whenever instead of you have a mechanic try to search through all the asset stores on github see if there's any plugin available for this uh, that, then we later on found like these plugins are available but there that we we need to do some slight modifications to it but there is obviously like we don't need that need to do that uh, mechanism from the scratch so yeah and also don't get attached to your game if it's not showing any promising kpi uh, I know like everyone love your game, uh, it's that something that what we do, but at one point if it's not going to work out, like you obviously have to give up and move on, so please don't get attached to your game until or unless it gets released. So uh, this is the thing, like we learned uh, some of the mistakes, there are like few games, but like there's this like limited time, like I couldn't find many things. Uh, so how we found our hit games with this uh, things that we did the mistakes that we did and what we learned. 
uh once you were into hyper casual development your social media feeds and everything flooded with the hyper casual elements and the trending things that's going on in the internet and uh, that's how we came across this rubber band trend uh my co-founder he sent me this first video as you see on the left uh, uh that one like he was sent me uh, it has a very interesting satisfying and asmr feel to it by cutting the rubber band then we tried to search in internet what is it about and we saw this rubber band ball making trend that is a thing that is a trend in us uh, like you need to make the rubber band ball as big as you can we try to make a game uh by making a rubber band ball but like the mechanism and the thing like didn't work out for us so we did like you know okay let's wrap something with the rubber band and then you cut it so that at least it has some asmr feel and asmr is something that is in trend that time uh so we start like which asmr game is uh, top and soap cutting asmr is the most downloaded asmr game as you see it is also a trending in social medias it's a huge trend and it's an asmr game and this game is also published by crazy labs and uh, the the concept of rubber banding rubber band cutting is the same thing where you wrap the rubber band on object after you cut all the rubber bands you will get to see what's inside the that's been wrapped up so it also has the same element that required uh, and it, it is also very much similar to soap cutting asmr so what we did right is instead of testing the games with multiple publisher we went straight to straight la- crazy labs and we tested and the cpi we got around uh, uh, 12 to 15 cents at the first try and uh, we launched the game after we did some you know adding more levels and increasing the day one retention we launched the game and the game went into 20 million downloads and it went to top charts and last year we won igdc hyper casual game of the year award uh, now we have our first hit game uh, so next thing is like we need our second hit so we decided uh, next time like we have to be give a proper big hit so we started to study the games of crazy labs and we were working so closely and currently like we are still working as an exclusive partner to them so these are the hit games a huge hit games of uh, crazy labs phone case diy uh, tie dye and uh, acrylic nails so all these games have crossed around like 100 million downloads so we so we like thought like what what the thing is more interesting uh, why this game is working the connections the, that we saw it's a, a simulation based game and a diy based game um okay like let's let's do something with the simulation and diy we were thinking like what can we do so the next thing is like we, this this is a monthly trend report that crazy labs sends to us all the time every month they send us and this food genre is something will be there in the top 3 for every month so we okay fine let's do something with the food but we can't do a game called food diy it will be too vague and broad like uh, there won't be any connection like is something like we need to be focused on then we came across this stone cold ice cream cold stone ice cream making thing where you put more ingredients uh, you mix with the syrup you smash you scoop and like spread and you make a uh, ice cream desserts out of it so this has the diy key elements that's we are searching for and the diy key main diy key elements are this these are the four points like one is creative freedom you would be giving a uh, creative freedom to the players to explore many different things by you know you can put any kind of uh, combination of ingredients or syrup and make a new flavor out to it so so whenever they play whenever a player play the game they will be giving you the the results will be like something different every time and it ha- they have their own creative to decorate the desserts and everything so this creative freedom part is very 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 important in the desert and the diy mechanism and the colorful obviously it's a ice cream game it needs to be more colorful and it also fits the panel if you see the the games that we shown with the crazy labs everything is so colorful and it attracts the players very well and had the, the ice cream cold uh, cold stone ice cream making is also having the satisfying mechanics where you scoop you smash you scrape it so these have the same as some kind of satisfaction there so that is there okay all the checklists have been done and the last thing is it something needs to be a part of your day to day life if you see phone case diy or tie dye 
acrylic acrylic nails like everything is connected to your lifestyle so every day and so is the food food is something that will be part of your day to day life so it fits all the element that we needed so we decided to make this game and the first level we did with the desert diy is the same jelly level that you see in the previous gif uh, you make the you put the jelly and like you smash the jelly along with the syrup and then you make a desert out of it and later on like we in included all uh, uh, types of deserts in the game whenever when when we decided to make uh, this game we already had the plan to include more uh, desert making stuffs because it all all had the creative freedom part in it so okay let's make it uh, so that's how like then later on we added more ma ma uh, making deserts like you know popsicle cone ice cream waffles and and then the game got released uh, i think uh, may may end or uh, june june starting i guess june starting it was released and we are happy to announce here first that we crossed over 50 million downloads and the game has went to top chart in 46 countries uh it didn't went to top chart in us usually hyper casual games uh the us is the primary market in our case like it didn't work out it didn't went to top chart in us but it obviously worked out but the other than that the asian countries where it's hugely popular it went to the top charts like so it's like we, many of the countries went to top chart so here are some of the rules that you need to remember uh, while making a hyper casual game or designing a hyper casual games i would say uh the first thing is staying in trend always stay in trend uh as i said like your social media feeds filled with hyper casual elements and the trending things so always follow the right hashtags instead of uh, non unwanted things in the social media just make use out of it just follow the trends that is need needed for the, for you on like what you need to do and the second thing is tracking the top charts and like uh, what games are in top charts our usual uh day to day routine is whenever we come to office our designers we sit with uh, everyone and we'll see like what new games have been come in the top charts we'll explore the first top 100 sometimes in top 200 so we'll see what are the things that's been trending and like we'll try to study on why it's uh, a hit and why it's not so that's you need to do every day continuously and this tracking top charts not only for uh, hyper casual even if you are making a casual game or premium game you need to always check what's been in trend and like what game is working out in the market uh, and the third thing is play effortlessly so they, since they are like non gamers uh, you need to make them play the game without putting any effort uh, these people are someone who you know uh want to kill their time when they are traveling to their office something like that so you they don't want the stress about to think stress and like you know think on what to be what we need to do how we should complete the game so you shouldn't put that things into their head just let them play freely and without putting any effort and understand your publisher audience if you are making a game uh, please don't go ahead by self publishing uh, this is some of the rookie mistakes that we do uh try to find a publisher or if you like you know sometimes you study the publisher what the publisher successful publishers are and uh, study their games and work on it or if you have a game see what the publisher what what's what what, what publisher would be suiting your game and uh, if you didn't find both the things i think you're going in a wrong direction uh, so the other part is satisfactory and rewarding this is the two keywords that has been like heavily influenced in hyper casual genre so this gives the player gives the player a overwhelming feel that they are progressing they are not low like it keeps them positive so these two keywords have been heavily influenced if you see uh, the satisfactory word like it will be there in all the games it, it, so yeah uh, and the next thing is perfect execution uh like i said the games that we did uh the the games that has been failed if it was executed in a proper way it might be a hit so whenever you have a concept or a theme try to have like four to two times like two to four times like on what the what it suits like it will it work or not like think a lot before you may start making the prototype and always have an engaging gameplay please don't have a boring gameplay where you have to wait and like you 
then you have to resume like always have something happening in your hyper casual gameplay uh, just keep it in very very interactive and the hyper casual elements like i said like from the control there is like certain set of hyper casual controls certain set of art style etc some uh, so all these hyper casual elements have to be very very important and the innovation out here it's it should be something you know innovative or something new to the market and also lower difficulty curve like i said before that the game difficulty curve should be very lower and you have to make the progression very faster you have to make your players progress very faster and simple gameplay and goal if you have a concept uh, try telling your teammates explain them in one word or like one one liner simple liner way if they understood very quickly at the first attempt i think it's the right game you can make a star you can start prototyping it and also the goal instead of having multiple yeah this is the main thing like sometimes there will be like two game plays mechanics inside a game where you need to do this and do that and then you do the then you reach the goal uh, try to narrow it down to have like one mission and one goal like you know uh, one one thing you need to do and like why why you are shooting that like the goal should be that so have that one and uh, add compatibility uh this is for someone who is struggling with the uh, you know uh, this is something that we needed for the scaling stages uh so once we have pass when we once we pass the game with all the kpis um uh, there is a stage called scale stage uh, where you scale the game uh you you put the game into the worldwide audience and you scale it uh at one point of time the the video ads uh, worked out for you won't won't make much difference because the, all the audience have seen the video so you need to have some new creative to your game so for example in desert diy uh, we made recently made uh, uh, that's been in the house of the dragon series like we had this dragon x uh, put it there you smash the dragon x and you make the desert out of it so you can adapt your uh, creative according to the current trend so think the try to keep that factor in your uh, hyper casual game ideas so these are the elements that been required for you know to rules i would say just have this rule somewhere and like try to see like if everything is getting fitted or not and uh, yes and we obviously even though we have all this rule we try to do the same mistakes that we did again so we keep on doing that so it will take some time for us to figure out like you know it will take like one year it took almost a year for us to understand the process very well and do the game so but keep on trying since you have your since you are waiting for your first hit try explaining more things like try experimenting more things try more uh, try to try to make more faster prototyping uh, if you are a developer like try to have multiple frameworks like multiple hyper casual controls as a framework and keep on the faster prototyping going on so this is it uh, that's my speech today i hope uh, some informations will be there i think like you have gained something uh, so thank you guys thank you and also like we are hiring right now we are expanding our studio if you want to reach us like you can scan the code or like you can visit our website there are multiple openings available in our company so any questions you can ask so guys like uh, there that there, there's like no time now like you can contact me anytime outside like i'll be here uh, so please make use out of it thank you